so we've got here gorgeous open pink avalanche and we're gonna use this to create a traditional hand tie bouquet uh, using the spiral method the easiest and this is gonna be one of the gorgeous sweet bouquet one can carry as a traditional bouquet yeah so now what I'm going to do is you take your three biggest balloons open and you put them together to form your shape in the middle and what I'm gonna do is just spiral around it you turn take another one and then you turn take another one just seeing how it's forming so nicely and round and making sure you're not squashing the roses so that each one is showing off beautifully place it here And they always say you should be able to hold your bouquet with just like that so then it's not heavy and then to make the shape and also when they're spiraling you can adjust to just make them look really nice without hurting the blooms when you've got your focals showing and your nice little round shape here we go. So then now I can even shift it. Then you put your nice contemporary bouquet. What I'll just do is you tie it with a band. Very easy. So there you've got your knot like that. So what you do now, what I like to do when you finish your hand tie bouquet. Just trim it when you buy it and then what you do is bend the edge so it doesn't come out to finish it and then you take it get your safety pin out at an angle there you go and then you've got a hold yeah and then all I do now is to just wrap around the ribbon just so you, um, the, the uh, elastic so you don't get that elastic look you know you want to finish it off so beautifully you wrap it around a couple of times and I feel I don't want it to be too long so I'm going to end here and then I'll cut off my end of ribbon here and then again because you don't want these edges to come off without bending the flowers or holding you just bend there right so that you've got your nice end and then you take your safety pin maybe two one at an angle another one here so nice cuttings I'll just trim it a little bit so we're gonna create a nice bow or something frilly just so that we've got a beautiful finish to hide away these pins and then you've got a bit of texture as well for pictures and everything I might always trim it fold it down all I'm just doing is folding it down folding it down you can go on really as <laughs> much as you want but like I like that and it gives such a freely texture so you can create your own arty kind of finish or whatever you want to do I just cut it there and then secure it with another safety pin right so we're gonna make two 
So after I've created my nice fringes just to decorate, you know, the, the bouquet and hiding as well all these safety pins, I'm just going to find a nice stiff spot and then if you try and pull it out, it's nice and steady. You must feel that it's nice and steady and just twirl it around and then you take another one. Same sport or different sport, it's up to you. Then you just dunk it in there. And then you just twirl it around. And that's how you make a gorgeous hentai bouquet. Thank <laughs> you.